guys, uh, welcome to step number three on how to read books to learn foreign languages. Now that you've chosen your uh, favorite book, now that you found your position and the time uh, to dedicate to reading sessions, it's about time to actually read the book and you have to get the tools. And the best tool to read a book is this. It's a really simple tool, which is a, a pencil. What are you going to do with a pencil? Well, you're going to mark words because the whole point of reading is actually expanding uh, your vocabulary and actually expanding uh, your worldview. Now, what you can do in order to mark words in a foreign language is simply to put these words in parentheses. I hope you can see this so that you can put the words that you don't know in parentheses and then you can create actually a link uh, or an arrow at the bottom of the line. This is important where then you will um, actually write the meaning of the word in the foreign language. Now, the cool thing about this is that you don't need to stop and look for every single word every time that you find a word that you don't know, but you can do it at the end of the session. So make sure that you read all this, you read your 20, your 20 pages or whatever, and at the end of the session, you can actually, you, you look them up on, on an online uh, vocabulary, which is going to be very fast. The reason why is because reading is wonderful and you don't want to disrupt the pleasure of reading. So at the end of every session, you do that. So you, to recap, you can get a pencil, you can mark words in parentheses, you can create a link at the border of the page far from the word, and then I'll tell you why, and then you can add the meaning of the, of the words in your mother tongue. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.